This week's word of the week is going to be uh, tensile strength. Tensile strength is an extremely important word for uh, the welding industry. And one of the main reasons is because every uh, filler metal you have on it has a tensile strength. When you're talking about uh, 7018, that means it's supposed to pull at a minimum of 70,000 pounds per square inch. That's what that 70 means. So a lot of filler metals have the tensile strength right in them. Uh, I got pull written down here. Tensile strength you get from doing a tensile pull. Uh, typical tensile pull specimen I kind of drew right here. Um, this little screwy line right here in the middle is where the weld would be. So if they're doing uh, welder certification through a tensile pull, they're going to reduce this section down like this, and then it'll be right in the code book of the exact dimensions you're supposed to reduce it down to. The weld is going to be right in the middle. All right. Now this other little crack I drew right here is where that tensile pull should break, right in the heat effect zone. It should never break right down in the middle of the weld. That usually means that something's wrong with the weld and it's an automatic failure. So you want the tensile pull to break right here. The way you uh, calculate tensile strength is you do the pull, which is in pounds, so you put it in the machine and it pulls it apart, um, divided by or the area. The area is just inches squared. So it's just the cross-sectional area of the tensile pole. Uh, if you don't know what tensile strength is, let's just define it real quick. I got the exact definition over here. And the uh, ultimate tensile strength, often shorter than tensile strength, uh, is the capacity of material or, or structure to withstand loads tending to elongate as opposed to compression strength, which withstands loads tending to reduce in size. So what does that mean? See these arrows right here? It's ripping it apart, it's pulling it apart. And that's the tensile strength is the material's resistance to being pulled apart. So once again, we'll go over here and uh, look at the math of this. Your pole divided by your area gives you your ultimate tensile strength in pounds per square inch. That's why when you're talking about something like 7018, it's 70,000 pounds per square inch. That's the tensile strength, the, the minimal tensile strength. Now there's two different types of tensile poles they typically do. One is round. It'll again be reduced right here. And the other is flat, which is what we're talking about in the welding world. It's a groove weld uh, that you're ripping apart to make sure that it's got the proper tensile strength to become a certified welder. So what we'll do now is we'll show you the two different kinds of uh, tensile pull specimens here. I've got both of them, so we'll take a look at that real quick. All right, this is three tensile pull specimens. The top one we've already pulled, and you can see the weld is right in the middle. It's kind of fatter. The middle one is one that's unbroken that could be a weld. It's actually not a weld. I just cut it out with an automated plasma cutter. And then the bottom one is an ASME uh, tensile pull specimen. It's reduced and round. And it's got those threads so that you can thread it on there. What we're going to do now is take that middle one. We're, we're going to actually rip it apart and show you how to calculate the tensile, um, the tensile pull. So um, what we'll do is we'll start taking the area of the middle, and then we will go ahead and pull this. What we're going to do now is actually erase all this stuff other than the math portion there. So we'll erase this and we'll start calculating the ultimate tensile strength for that middle tensile specimen that we just looked at there. So we're going to erase all this stuff. And what we'll do is we'll start with the area because that's the first thing we got to calculate, the area. So we're going to go area. That's going to equal the width and the thickness. So what we'll do is we'll measure the width and the thickness now. So what we're doing here is just measuring the width right now. Let's turn that. 0.5125. So I'm going to write that down, and then we'll get the thickness. All right, I just recorded the thickness. I just recorded the width. Now we're looking at the thickness here, if I can get it to stay on there. You can see it's 0.1175, so I'll record that. What we've done here, get your width multiplied by your thickness to give you your area of 0 0.06022 inches squared. So that's our area. What do we need next? We're going to need to do the pole. So we're going to go here and put the pole. We don't know what it is yet, so let's go. We'll go record doing the pull, and we'll get the pull in. All right, this is our specimen in the tensile machine. 
you look down low here, that's that specimen, the middle one that we had there, in the jaws, where we get our reed out, it's more up here. So what we'll do is we'll film the pole, and then we'll take a look at the reed out. We're going to now is start the pole, so we just hit start, and it's going to start ripping it apart. pretty good right in the middle of the reduced section so let's go ahead and look at the readout before we look at the readout I just wanted to show you what the brake actually looks like you can see it stretched quite a bit but it's right in the middle we cut it out of the plasma cutter so that material was all the same strength it was never welded or heated or nothing so we'll go ahead and look at the readout now this is our readout here so that broke at 3,815 pounds. That's how much it took to rip that apart. The lower number is your percent elongation. A lot of the people in the welding world don't care about percent elongation. They want to know what the tensile strength is. So 3,815. We'll go throw that up on the board and finish our calculations. We just came back up here, wrote down our pole, 3,815 pounds. Uh, so to calculate the ultimate tensile strength, we're going to divide the 3,815 pounds by the area. Uh, to give you a grand total of 63,351 pounds per square inch ultimate tensile strength. So hopefully that gives you a good idea of what tensile strength is and how to calculate the ultimate tensile strength. Thanks for watching and subscribing to TV Weld. We'll see you next week.